Here is my overall perfume collection. Won't name each one individually, but I'll just go through like the brands that I have at the moment. Starting from the back, so I've got Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez. These three are Rihanna, uh, Vera Wang, Katy Perry, and then these three are Katy Perry as well. Then I have Michael Kors, Delta Goodrum, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Alba Combi and Finch, Thierry Mugler, I think, and Jennifer Lopez. Viva La Juicy, um, Taylor Swift, these two. These two here are Jimmy Choo, Tommy Hilfiger. Then we have Britney Spears over here. These three are Mariah Carey, Roberto Cavalli, Marc Jacobs, um, DKNY, Victor and Rolf, Lancome and YSL. Last row is Guess, um, Lacoste, Rolf Lauren, The Body Shop, Victoria's Secret. So I'm just going to go in now and pick five affordable ones and four of your pricier perfumes and then run you through them and a little bit about them. So these five are my affordable picks and your more expensive picks on this side. So firstly, before I jump into it, I just wanted to um, say a couple of points before I start the video. So firstly, um, the five affordable and five pricey ones that I've picked are not just general favorites. So I just tried to pick um, a perfume from one of each brand in the prices that I'm about to share with you. I do have a couple of favorites in there, but I'm going to break up the video and I might do another perfume video at some other point and just go further and speak differently about them. Maybe do individual brands one by one in a video, see how I go. Also remember that when I say the prices of these perfumes, it's what I paid for it and it's where I got them from because everywhere that you go is different. Also the mils that I buy, depending if it's like a, you know, 20 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil, they're all gonna be different prices, whether it's the same perfume, obviously, because you're paying less or more product. But if you see something you like in here and you go to the shops and it's for example maybe like $70 just make sure that might be for a 50 mil and it might be like $100 for 100 mil. And no matter what perfume it is it normally will depend where you get it from because even if you go online it might be cheaper than what you pay in store or it could be vice versa and more expensive online than what you pay in store. So I've just made a list of all the fragrance notes for all these perfumes because I find that's one thing that's very hard to describe is the fragrance. Like you can say it's floral, fresh, sweet, but you can't necessarily describe the ingredients to people all the time. So I just did that to make it a bit easier. So I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to start with my affordable ones first. This is Rebel by Rihanna. I used to use it all. It is a sweet fragrance. So the fragrance is mixed fruits, peach, berry, coconut water, and vanilla musk. I'm not going to mention all the notes because they are several. So I would suggest this probably for um, like teenagers and then like young adults. Um, yeah, perfume is a very personal preference for everyone. So I could suggest something, but really it just depends on who likes what. We all like different things. So even if you're 40, you may like this. So it all depends. Normally I pay about $25 for this and this is a 100 mil, so it's the biggest one. And I normally would purchase this one rather from Beauty Spot or Chemist Warehouse, which those two are always the most affordable out of everywhere else normally. Next here we have Killer Queen by Katy Perry. Um, again, it is a sweet fragrance. I do like sweet things, so the majority of my perfumes are sweet. And this one is Cashmere, Patchouli, Spice and Creaminess. In this like diamond bottle um, again I get it from chemist warehouse or beauty spot I pay about $25 for it and this is a hundred mil again um, teenagers and young adults but again always remember I'm gonna just give my opinion but you could be 50 60 doesn't matter and you probably still like the scent next we have a guest perfume and this is seductive this one I get from chemist warehouse or beauty spot as well I pay about $25 for this one. This is a 75 mil. Um, also in price and when they have half price sales, it normally comes down to about 25. So you can get it from there as well, apart from Chemist Warehouse and Beauty Spot. I um, never really go to Priceline and buy my perfumes unless they have a half price sale, but I know with half price, it's what I'm paying or less. A couple of notes for this fragrance is cashmere wood and vanilla. I think this is a really nice scent for um, teenagers, adults and um, older people. Um, it's just one of those all-round scents I think is really nice for anyone. If it wasn't for the fragrance notes, I don't know how people describe perfumes. I would have no idea how to explain the ingredients. Um, but yeah, 
Again, um, really nice perfume, guys. I've got a sweetness to it, but a mature scent to it as well. This is actually my third bottle of this one. Lastly, for the five affordable perfumes that I chose to share with you, um, this is Fantasy by Britney Spears. It's been a favorite of mine. It's always been in my collection. It's about my seventh bottle. The first time I ever purchased this was, uh, well, I didn't purchase it myself. I got it from my parents. It, I was about, I think, 13 years old. So for the affordable products, I have like chosen between like the 20, 30 range, somewhere about there, because I think that will be a standard affordable price. That's personally my opinion though. This is a perfume that I think is affordable. That would be a really nice gift for yourself or for somebody else for any age. It is stunning scent. I wish I could just tell people when I was out what it smelled like because I get so many compliments on this perfume when I wear it. But again, I have my notes here. <laughs> a really beautiful bottle, again, to display in your bathroom or if you have like perfume shelves, this would look so nice on it. This is Forever by Mariah Carey. This one is a little bit harder to find. Um, I get this one from Priceline, but I only ever get it if it's on sale. This is probably my third bottle of this one. I pay about $30 for it. This is 100 mil. Um, so far, you can only really get the 100 mil, I believe. Um, however, I think it's originally like $60. It's a bit of a limited edition, so I can only find it here and there. Some of the fragrance notes, not all of them, um, is Lotus, Green Apple, and White Musk. But it's weird. I read those notes and I just can't relate them to this, but yeah, it's so good. Things like these perfumes that you may not be able to find in store that are like limited edition, I would suggest um, looking online, but again, you may be paying more than what you would get it in store. It's a really nice pink. It's obviously my favorite color. I always talk about how much I love pink. And it's got little diamonds on it. It's a really beautiful bottle and a nice decor piece for your bedroom. I remember the original packaging of this. It actually like folded out. So the box opened this way and that way and the perfume was sitting right in the middle. It was so beautiful, but now, they no longer have that packaging it's just a basic box and i only got that packaging about twice before they change it to the box but i really wish i did keep that one uh, this is normally about 20 dollars for 100 ml really affordable perfume this literally is the only perfume without writing notes down about it that i can describe it's like candyland and basically smells like fairy floss it does last all day this one so you really don't need to reapply it throughout the day but um, yeah, it's always something that I always have in my collection without fail. Chemist Warehouse and Beauty Spot for this one. Um, I have realized lately though, since like last year midway through, it does go up and down. I normally pay $20, it can go up to $30, so it's a bit off and on with the price for some reason. For example, how I spoke about Priceline a bit earlier in the video, um, if this was in Priceline, you're paying almost like $60 for it because it's like the retail price. So always go and check out your prices for this one before purchasing. If your child has their 10th birthday or they are a young teen, 100% get this one. Um, it's really nice. I love it. Um, again, the packaging, they'll just fall in love with um, from a young age. Um, it's very, it's like something that their style would be most likely. I remember my mum always said, oh my God, you smell like candy today. And I was like, yeah, because I'm wearing fantasy. So um, again, a Britney Spears one. And yeah, I would recommend it for sure. Now I have all of the five more pricier perfumes ranging from about your 60 and above mark and we'll start running those ones. So starting with one of uh, my favorites, I, the first time I got it was from my auntie uh, for my 21st birthday and then I'm up to literally my third, fourth bottle at the moment. So this is Roberto Cavalli by obviously Roberto Cavalli. Um, but it's a really beautiful smell. Again, um, if you wanna buy something maybe for your mom or parent, um, definitely this one I would recommend it's just so nice and beautiful as you can see I am running low <laughs> um, this is in a 50 mil so normally for the 50 mil I would pay about um, 60 to 70 dollars um, however I can't believe like lately um, obviously I haven't needed to really buy it yet but they were down to 30 dollars always get this one from rather chemist warehouse or beauty spot um, you can always have a look online guys but again um, yeah sometimes your prices can be very increased this is actually the original, the first Roberto Cavalli, if I'm correct, especially for the women that I'm talking about. And um, yeah, it's got a little like stripe, as you can see, tiger stripe. It's in a gold packaging, gold colored fragrance, and it does have normally like a gold lid that kind of looks like a fanned out sun. And some of the fragrance notes for this one is pink pepper, orange blossom, and roasted fava tonka, whatever that is, it smells good. If none of my perfumes have lids, it's literally because I carry them in my bags with me all the time when I'm going somewhere. 
they fall off, I leave them in my bag for months, I find them, I chuck it out, or like they end up breaking in my bag. So, so this perfume here is by Jimmy Choo. It's called Fever. Um, it was one of their latest brought out perfumes. My partner got it for either my birthday, which was in November or Christmas. And this is a good example for you because this is 100 mil. And I always tell my partner, I never go to Maya to buy things because it's always so, so much more expensive. But he did. If he'd gone to um, Chemist Warehouse or Beauty Spot, um, if I was to purchase this, this would have cost me from about $80, but now because it's been out a couple of months, about $60. But he paid $160 for this, and when I told him where he should have gone to get the perfumes like I always do, he was like, holy hell. However, this is normally around like the $80 mark, I would say. Um, and again, that is a good example, depending on where you go, how much the prices can differ. So some of the fragrance notes for this one is lychee, grapefruit, vanilla orchard, and sandalwood. So really nice, especially for an adult again. So it's got a sweetness to it, and it's also got a little bit of muskiness to it, um, but it's a really beautiful bottle as well. Next, we're going to do something really beautiful and fancy over here. Always chunky like bottles, um, but this is um, Bow Delicious by Viva La Juicy. So this is the packaging up close. Um, it did have a gold logo on the front, but it fell off in my bag. Um, however, it's a really cute little bow on the lid here. I'm obsessed with this scent. Um, again, if you're like a young adult, older adult, I think it's really, really nice. So the notes are Italian mandarin, pear and melon. Um, jasmine, white ginger and coconut milk, tonka bean and driftwood. So quite a few fragrance notes. Um, yeah, so quite a lot of ingredients in this one. So this is 100 mil and yeah, so I got it for $100, but it was originally over $100. I got it from Priceline when they had a bit of a fragrance sale. Again, I only buy things from Priceline if they are on sale and I think it's worth it. However, I was a little bit selfish and just really liked the smell. So I just bought it there and then and I couldn't find it anywhere else though. And I was really curious because I could only, as I said, find this in Priceline. Um, it wasn't at Chemist Warehouse, it wasn't a beauty spot. I couldn't even find it in Maya, which have which they have a lot of the Viva La Juicy fragrances. And this would be really nice for like a 21st, 18th birthday. Um, it would make a really nice gift, especially because of the packaging as well. Next, we have this fragrance here by Lancome. And it is such a beautiful smell. I would suggest this from like 18 and older. Um, anyone who's like a parent, 40, 50, even older, um, really, really nice. I love how this bottle is like so simple but it looks so elegant and this is quite a pricey perfume. The fragrance notes for this perfume is orange blossom patchouli and sweetness of garment blend. I don't know what that is um, but it is a sweet perfume definitely for sure. I would suggest if you wanted to buy a more pricier perfume for a special occasion birthday, um, I would actually suggest this one. This is um, La Vie Air Belle. I was fortunate enough to get this from one of my best friends, so thank you Alana for this because she knew, she actually didn't know actually that I really wanted this and when I got it she was shocked because I said I really wanted that perfume but because it was so expensive I didn't want to buy it. So I was very lucky to get this one and so I just use it here and there as much as I want to use it like literally every day um, but again it is your more pricier perfume but really good for like gifts. So for a 50ml you're going to be paying over $100 around like I don't know, $130 or so, um, again, depending on where you get it from, um, but I've seen this perfume for $160 to over $200. And lastly, I have chosen Black Opium by YSL for the last five pricey perfumes and the last for the 10 perfumes that I chose today. This particular perfume, a lot of girls would receive as a birthday present, um, especially if it's like a 21st. Um, it's just one of those scents that all girls really love. It's beautiful. It has a sweetness to it, but it's got that mature scent to it as well. And it's just really nice black glittery packaging, as you can see. It is also a perfume that, um, I'm kind of running out here, <laughs> that girls would um, treat themselves to if they don't normally buy themselves perfume like myself, like I buy it all the time. Since I've moved though, um, I put a restriction on buying perfumes and candles because I was just out of control. <laughs> Before I did buy this one, I did want it for quite some time. I would always smell it if I was at the shops. Um, this is a 50 mil and I do believe I paid about $130, $120, something like that. It was 
probably the most expensive perfume I bought um, personally. Um, but yeah, I'm almost out of it, so saving the last little bit because it's a killer to buy this one. And when I got this one, I got it from Beauty Spot. Um, but again, yeah, Beauty Spot and Chemist Warehouse are my top two perfume places that I go to buy my fragrances. But thank you for watching the video. I hope you got some ideas and um, that, yeah, it was my first time talking about perfumes, but I hope it was something you enjoyed to watch and that there's some type of scent here in front of me that you would like to try for yourself.